Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, <laughs> Major Minor. Oh, God. Okay, so last time we've started the best part of the game. Um, I also wanted to just like put a disclaimer sorry for the uh, cropping issues. Last time, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so, basically what's going to go on here now is just... I think the best way I could describe this upcoming chapter is both the worst and the best part of this game. So, let's, let's get into it, I guess. Um, I don't know what happened to the sound effects. But as soon as we take some steps, the media is upon us. Hmm, it's odd. Oh wait, no, it's because my fucking okay. But as soon as we take some steps, the media is upon us. They're countless in their numbers. Holy shit, that's loud. It appears as if they're trying to block our entry. They hold their microphones out, wanting answers. Oh, it's this dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I hear, like, the wind in, like, the fucking- it's, like, wind and cars. What the hell, place? Like, you didn't do this before, but okay. Well, okay, well, uh, the reporter dude. Oh, it's the Lucky Two! Hey, that's the news reporter from last night. He's the one who reported that at the place with a smile on his face the whole time. The contest winners, we need to talk. There's some allegations going around. They say this is just for publicity. Minato, do not engage the press. They will try to scare you into talking, but legally they can't get in their way. Just keep walking and they'll move. That is, if they want to keep their careers. He glares at Fukumoto as he says those last words. Uh, perhaps I'll ask again later. He slowly backs away and blends into the crowd. Archer I must have intimidated him into submission. But it was for the best, and I'm thankful. I wouldn't have known what to do on my own. Follow me, and do not engage. Singe will tell you the truth of things, and you don't want to say something stupid. I nod, as I find his console and value. We keep walking, and I make sure Kill is in tow. And Numi is following us as well. He must be used to the limelight by now. I'm shocked Inumi isn't more, like, sad about the fact that his uh, brother is dead, but I mean... Okay, I guess it's gonna be that way. Being Place's brother, he'd get, he'd get lots of attention. What do you... Well, I mean, I guess so. I mean, with how he dresses. I look back at the limo. The large crowd blocks Jade's attempts to leave. I feel sorry for her, and she's stuck with the press. Not you saw these eyes on you, huh? Not at all. As soon as he says that, it hits me, and the sense of anxiety starts to rise within me. If I was being watched, it could be anybody here. I ask if we can walk faster, but then I get another text. I pull out my phone with extreme apprehension. I'm unable to display a calm composure. I'm sure I could play it off as fears the crowd. Archeron has no idea what's happening in my end. <laughs> I still can't get over like the Verizon 4G thing that kills me. <clears throat> Worried, aren't you? Hm, good, bitch. Okay, now it's very clear that I'm being followed. And they're close enough to see my worry as well. I scan my surroundings, but everyone is watching me. They certainly picked the perfect time to watch. Ugh. I'd never be able to tell who it was in this crowd. I start to panic and cling even closer to Archer. I give him a gentle nudge, pushing him to move faster. He seems to take my signal and thankfully obeys. It isn't much longer until we get inside. We're promptly greeted with the illusion of safety. Okay. I take a large breath as soon as we get inside. For some reason, it feels like I'm safe. It's odd how one door can make such a difference. Inumi scurries away as soon as we get inside. What's with characters scurrying away like all the time? Jesus fuck, man. The windows are dimmed, so it's not too bright. It looks like it's nighttime out there, but okay. But this bodes well for someone in my situation. If I was being watched, they couldn't do it now. I stand relieved in the lobby with Archeron and Killa. 
You did a good job out there. You were overwhelmed, but that's normal. You handled yourselves admirably. Thanks. If only he knew why I was actually worried. Actually, perhaps I should tell him. He'd be the last person I want to hide this from. And he'd probably know exactly how to- No, he won't! I mean, they'd probably be like, what the fuck do you mean? Magic power granted to you by a man from a different universe. Like, I wouldn't bother with that. What the hell's the matter with you? I want you to wait right here. I'll go find out where Singe is. Do me a favor and don't wander. He walks towards what I assume is the reception desk. I turn to Killa and ask him if he's okay, with that creepy smile staring back at me. Oh my god. So far, it's been impossible to get a read on it. I know he's prone to zoning out, but this is unreal. I, I'm good, just overwhelmed. Uh, I mean, what are the odds of this? Nothing has gone our way since we got here. We'll get involved with the media now. They probably even dug up our pa- Uh-oh, racist Keela Twitter posts. Aw, oh, fuck. No, no, no. Keela said the N-word. A time to cancel him. I'm- <laughs> Yeah, no, he's, like, scared as fuck. He's like, oh god, oh fuck, they're gonna expose me. I'm not really cool with that, Minato. Luck is definitely not on our side. He's right. This is supposed to be luxurious. Our every dream was expected to become a reality. Saying that this happened... Saying that this hasn't happened is an understatement. It went south in almost every way imaginable. I tell Killa that everything will be okay. Although I don't know who I'm trying to convince. There's a lot more on my plate with the fate of Terra. Why not just forget about Terra? Terra sucks, dude. They'll let it burn to the ground. So I'd simply say that we should wait till we talk to Singe. Yeah, you're right. He turns away and starts to inspect the lobby. It's rather massive, and it doesn't look really foreign at all. In fact, it makes me feel at home. Very modern. I don't stay away at Archron's behest. Instead, I look at the TVs attached to the wall. They're all playing a news report, recorded earlier. It must be a story of interest to Tokyo citizens. A few moments pass, I realize it's true, but it happens to be of great interest to me as well. What the f oh, it's a pre-recorded one, okay. Hello, Fukumoto here. I've been lucky enough to stag an interview right here on the streets of Akihabara. This is very spontaneous, people. Sorry for any background noise. Yeah, I know you should have apologized for that. With like the earlier with the car, it scared the shit out of me. Oh my God. <clears throat> but I think you'll enjoy our guest. This guy seems to get around. Are there no other news reporters in Japan? She's arrived in Tokyo a few weeks ago, but she's been under scrutiny ever since. Well, we're here for the real story. And we'll get it from the woman herself. Everybody, welcome Maxine Armstrong, the CEO of... Oh, the CEO, goddamn, of Armstrong Incorporated. It's my pleasure to be here, Fukumura-san. It's that woman I've run into multiple times. Didn't think she was special enough for her own report. For those not in the know, Maxine came. Maxine came. Please call me Max. Uh, very well, Max. You came here from the United States, but nobody knows the real reason why. This has made a lot of people uneasy, given the nature of your business. Chemical and explosive weapon- what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, dude, are you kidding? Some would say you deal in war. I mean... What do you mean- what do you mean that's incorrect? Aren't- like, what else are you gonna use weapons in, like, chemical warfare for? Are you kidding? Well, let's see what she says. <clears throat> that's actually incorrect, Fukumoto. Armstrong Incorporated desires protection. We sell an item that's useless on its own. Our products are a security measure. Any other use is the buyer's fault. Damn. Max is the type of person, and I kind of agree with her, where she, like, supports gun rights because of the fact that, like, it's not the... It's not the gun's fault, you know. It's the buyer's fault. Maybe you should just ban, like, people from buying guns. We provide a means, not anything else. <laughs> This is awesome, dude. Max is like, she runs a weapons store. She's like, yeah, no, it's not any of our problem what you do with our biochemical weapons. She's awesome. <clears throat> we have a very thorough selection process. Uh-oh. Clients are given... <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of handy. Clients are all given mental health exams. We ensure the client is fit, you see. Damn, well, I mean, if they're doing... You know what? That's actually kind of smart. Like, people be like, 
big guns and like she's doing it right what the fuck max has a point the tabloids always exaggerate things, but you're no stranger to that yourself. I want protection for everyone, not war. Many of our citizens are government suits, but... Citizens' clients, excuse me. But celebrities are within our realm, too. If a weapon goes off, it's only to protect. It's easy to make it sound like that I'm bad, but the weapons I sell, they guarantee safety. It's not my fault if they're misused. <laughs> I don't like how she has a point. It's awesome. Oh, I see. Uh, thanks for explaining. That's an admirable mission statement. Your parents would be proud of you, Max. But can you understand the unease? Some people are scared of your presence, especially since you're keeping secrets. But now, Japan is your audience. Do you have anything you wish to say? Something to put us at ease? <sighs> Unfortunately, I do not. My purpose here is confidential. However, no harm will come to your citizens. My presence here should put you all at ease. I offer the most advanced products possible. I could even stop these midnight deaths. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. She could stop them. Well, there you have it, folks. Max is here to stop the murders. An amazing goal. Bravo, Max. That's not what I said. That's all we have time for today. But rest easy, we're all safe. Armstrong is here for a noble purpose. This is Fukumoto signing off. Damn. She's like, I'm not here to stop the murders. Fuck you. Whoa, that was pretty heavy. I've heard of Armstrong Incorporated before, but this was my first time hearing about its owner. I never would have thought that it was her. <clears throat> I'll have to talk to her about it if I see her again. She did express interest at in getting to know me better. You know, I think even, like, right now, he would kind of realize that, like, the fact that she expressed, like, someone as big as her expressed interest and getting to know, like, you, Minato, I think you would figure out that she's the one sending you these ominous-ass text messages. Like, you would think, but... Our main character's as dumb as a brick, so... <clears throat> I see that Archeron is on his way back. Hopefully now we'd be able to get to meet with Singe. I was dying to hear an official statement about this. I await our next move as I walk towards my friends. Hey, thanks for staying put, you two. The conference won't start for a while yet. Why not just... Yeah, why not just say though? <sighs> so we can go and pass some time upstairs. <laughs> Renting this place must be expensive. Sinja's pockets go pretty deep, it seems. Well, anyway, I guess we should go. Those people outside are really loud. A headache is the last thing that I want. It should be more quiet upstairs. He starts walking towards the stairs. Me and Killa follow him without question. I guess it was almost instinctual. If he was our protection, we needed to stay close. And that's what we did as we ascended the stairs. We leave the frenzy of the media behind us. But unfortunately, not for good. Ugh, it's quieter up here, just like Archeron had hoped. He presses his back against the wall and watches us. Then he scouts around, looking from left to right. He definitely has a good vantage point from there. Killa leaves my side as well and tries to find a seat. Eventually, he situates himself in a nice leather chair. I see a lot of familiar faces around the room. Rook is using his tablet and Anumi is pacing around. But then I see some not so familiar faces, although I feel like I recognize them from TV. It's like almost everybody in Clort and the Clace is here. Maybe they were just as clueless as I was about this. I guess I wasn't the only one who wanted some- Well, no shit, you're not the only one. How selfish are you to be like, I'm the only one that wants answers. Like, fuck off. <clears throat> it isn't long before Rook looks up from his tablet. He notices me and starts to walk in my direction. I wonder how he was handling all of this. <clears throat> hey, Minato. Nice to see you made it. I'm assuming the new guy's Archeron. Too bad the last guard- Yeah, no, they're like always being so passive aggressive about the last guard. I fucking- Ugh. Too bad the last guard just ran off. Ran off? What does he mean by that? Anyway, no beating around the bush. Uh, you're here, so you must know the truth. Last night, Clace was murdered. He says it in such an emotionless way. Last night, Clace was murdered. It's hard for me to tell if this even bothered him. Instead of prying, I tell him that I did know the truth. I saw Fukumoto reporting live on TV past midnight. <clears throat> Oh, Fukumoto. I hate that guy. He scratches the truth almost every time. You like red. You're a communist. <laughs> what? Awesome. 
I have no idea how he got that job. He twists words like the tabloids. I'm surprised he works for a real station. <laughs> That's true. I did see his interview with Max. I let Rook know that he tried to interview me as well. He mentioned that this was all a publicity stunt. Of course he'd mention that. Listen, don't take him seriously. You'll learn that pretty t quickly in Tokyo. But the general population loves him. Honestly, I'm not able to see why. He's just a sham, a sensationalist. It was harshly worded, but had some wisdom. Singe is just getting ready. It shouldn't be much longer. Maybe you should get to know the crew. Everyone's still shocked, of course, but some friendship might help them. Uniting is what we need to do right now. Rook turns his head and notices someone approaching. It's a fox with a guitar, and he steps with purpose. Oh, it's this fucking bitch, Rocker. I guess Rocker's a fine place to start. He's definitely a knowledgeable man. <coughs> you know, now I think about it, every character, when they do their like, little intro sprite, it's exactly the same. Like, they have one hand up, another hand to the side, like, hand, like head le like, kneeling down like that. Why? Are, why? Fucking... Ugh. Oh, wait, a compliment from Rook? Why well, it must be my birthday. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. Uh, hey, you're the one that said it. He bows to Rook as a gesture of respect. He then does the same to me, wearing a large smile. Uh, sorry, I'm not one for shaking hands, but with much respect, it's my pleasure. I'm Rocker. Nice to meet you, Minato. I'd hesitantly give him a bow and introduce myself, too. Oh, my. Uh, uh, what? A su A Sakiri? Oh, Minato, I don't deserve that. <laughs> oh, come on, Rocker, not right now. No need to make his day any worse. Oh, this is very important, though. Oh, Minato, that was an incorrect bow. You went far too low just now. A bow like that is good for an apology, or for addressing someone of status, and I mean exceptionally high status. Furthermore, your back was bent as well. You should always try to keep it straight. A crook about can be seen as respectful. Okay, can this guy- Okay, I don't like this dude anymore. It's fucking- He has like the- Probably like one of the better character designs, but I do not like his stupid weave ass. Get out of here. Uh, try and remember this simple fact. To most, a 15 degree bow is fine. Around here, it's called a shaku. It meant- It's meant for equals. And I don't mean to rag on you, but I'd hate for you to offend someone. <laughs> Well, this is my signal to leave. I don't need one of your famous quote-unquote lectures. I've heard way too much about Japan now. <laughs> Rook gives him a very crooked and low bow. Damn. As if to mock the entire lesson Rocker just gave. Maybe Rook is kind of based. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't just scare you away. If I were you, I would have ran. <laughs> he can be really rude without knowing it. He thinks he's joking or something, but it always comes off as crass. He's not the best at social interaction. Regardless of my feeling towards Rook, it was true. In fact, Rooker's lesson was Rocker's lesson. Rooker, Rocker's lesson was refreshing. He did it to legitimately inform me about bows, not to judge or berate me like Rook would always do. I'm gonna fucking strangle Rocker. Holy shit! I thank him and try to giving him the bow that he explained. Fifteen degrees and with a straight back. Oh, you catch on fast. I like that. We'll get along just fine, Minato. I know, we have spare time before the speech. If you want to hang out, feel free. Uh, of course, you'll be meeting Shock, too. Well, he says the name Shock, it all becomes clear. Shock and Rocker were Clay's lead guitarists. They performed some of the most legendary solos. I don't know if they performed such legendary solos. Name one. <laughs> I'm starstruck as he walks away, almost in disbelief. I've heard lots of their music, and it was awesome. But... Here he was, talking to me so casually. If I knew who he was at first, I would have panicked. Well, I mean, you'd think if you were a really good, like, fan of Clay, you would have recognized him instantly, but okay. <clears throat> but both Rocker and Rook had a very good point. I had some time to waste before Sinja's speech began, and there were so many interesting people here. I'd love to get to know each and every one of them. Well, I already knew Rook and Killa good enough, unfortunately. <clears throat> But Archeron was still a mystery, as was Anumi, and Shock and Rocker were quite enticing as well. Hanging out with a rock star duo would be awesome. Unfortunately, I couldn't hang out with all of them. I stay in place contemplating my next actions. Okay, how how long have I been recording for? Probably record. 
some more, probably. Hmm. Yeah, nah, I won't record anymore because I've been having like that sync issue, but I will record like another episode super quick. So yeah, I'm going to save here and I'll see you guys again later. Um, have yourselves a good night and it's been fun. So yeah, uh, ta-ta.